Have you ever wanted to create a Google Ads account just for test purposes? Maybe you want access to the keyword planner and the display planner, but you don't want to give Google your credit card details because you're just using it for research. Well, Google have recently changed the way the sign up process works on Google Ads, meaning you have to give off your bank details over to Google until now. There's actually a workaround where you can get access to Google tools for your business for all of your research and I'm going to show you that in this video right here right now. Hi guys so let's jump right into this quick tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is head over to my address bar and I'm simply going to type in Google Manager Account. Now I know the link to get to this page anyway but I'm going to show you this way just to make things a bit easier. So I'm going to click on the link for Google Ads Manager account, create a Google Ads Manager account. And it comes up with a tutorial from Google Ads on how to do that. But all I'm going to do is click straight onto this link here, a step one of the tutorial to do that. And that will take you to this page, which is the Google Ads Manager account page. So a manager account is what agencies use when they have multiple clients. So what I'm going to teach you to do is set up a manager account to manage your own Google Ads account in order for you to create an account without needing to put your card details in to get access to Google's tools. So by creating a manager account, that will do everything in terms of making sure you have access to Google's tools and you can roll out accounts at the click of a button as well. So I'm going to click start now to get the process underway. That will open a new tab and it asks you for the obvious information that you set up a Google Ads account with. So I'm going to start setting this up with a test email I created at, created earlier. And I'm just going to call it test. I'm going to click on to manage other people's accounts just so the option is guaranteed that you can create as many accounts as you'd like to do any testing you'd like. So I'm going to make sure this one's ticked so Google thinks I'm an agency. Then choose your country, your time zone, your currency. Of course, as you can tell from my accent, I'm British, so British pound and the United Kingdom. So we'll save and continue. So as part of the process, you need to create a Google account as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to give my real name in this occasion. And I'm going to create a password as well. And then hit next. Oh, passwords didn't match. Let's make sure I try that again. That should definitely match. Okay, and now you have to enter a verification code. So bear with me a second. I'm going to get an email through with a verification code and I'm going to enter the code right here on this page. So give me a sec and I'll do that now. Right, so we are in. So I've validated my email address, I've signed in, and I've hit the main page for a manager account. So as you'll notice, here I am in the manager account section of Google Ads. So it's a bit different to the normal section where you can go ahead and create campaigns. On this page, you go ahead and you create accounts. And within those accounts, you run your campaigns. So you'll see that the menu is a lot less um, intuitive in terms of the number of options available. You can check campaigns, you can check accounts. Again, I need to stress this is a blank installation, so it's not gonna have any data in at all. So it's pretty much just a blank, blank version of the, of the Google Ads Manager. So you'll notice you've got the reports and tools at the top that you normally get, so they will be minified and they, you won't have access to all the other tools you need, like the Google, um, the Google Keyword Planner, simply because it's only accessible within an actual campaign and within an actual account, whereas at the moment we're not in any account. So let's go ahead and create an account we can use for testing purposes. So I'm going to click this link here for all accounts. And let that load. And as you'll see, I have no accounts in this manager account. So what I need to do is go ahead and create a brand new account. So I'm going to do that by clicking on this little plus icon here. And I'm going to create a new account. And I'm going to give it a, make sure it's Google Ads account, not an AdWords Express account, because AdWords Express sucks, and you should know that by now. Um, I'm going to call this test, um, country, time zone, United Kingdom, currency, United Kingdom. Invite users. I won't invite any users. I'm going to be the only user. And as simple as that, I'm going to create the account. So there you go. I have created a Google Ads account, and I haven't given Google my card details. 
So I'm going to go in there right now and have a look around and make sure I've got access to all the tools. So here I am in my account and as you'll see I've got no campaigns or nothing in the account which is fine because all I want to do is get in and here we are we're now in. There's no accounts or campaigns, there's no campaigns set up but right now I have access to all of the Google tools. So if I go to the menu and click tools you'll notice I have access to the keyword planner and the add preview tool. So these two planning tools that Google restricts access to because you don't have an account and to have an account normally through the normal channels you need to give your payment details to Google and actually start spending money on an account which is really wrong by the way because the keyword planner is what you need to build an effective campaign and make sure you get the right negative keywords and they give you restricted access to the tool until you actually build a campaign and pay for it so counterintuitive to me but there's always a workaround like many things Google do and I hope you enjoyed looking at this workaround and now you can see how to create a Google Ads account without having to go through the normal channels and giving Google your card details. There you have it. If you like this tutorial, there's tons of tips and videos on my channel. Be sure to check those out. If you enjoyed it that much, please be sure to subscribe to my channel as well. And I'll see you guys on my next tutorial video.